Batley, Tesco's car park, the place of box lives and the confinement of time and matter. Our story takes place at a time when wars were no longer numbered, but shopping was already the prime means of personal expression. The car park, prescribed frames, white lines, card lives, now encasing themselves in nostalgia, are still familiar to us today. The prescribed routes and safe zones of permitted existence are the places where our story takes place. This is the story of a man who lives in the demarcated areas, reading the air between the bars and lines. His only time spent consumed in the prescribed activity of consumption. A man who grows fearful because strange dreams visit him. Sometimes he does not know if he dreams or if he revisits old dreams and younger versions of himself and the fears within that younger self's dreams. At other times he is almost sure he exists only in the frame and framework of another's vision, being seen and circumscribed by the image of how she sees him. He is sure then that he exists only for the expression of her dreams. This feeling also passes, and when he tries to revisit it to find himself again at the junction where it entered his mind freely and unbidden, he cannot retrace his way, cannot read the signs and stumbles, confused of its people who are not her, and know not of her people who cannot help him back to her. On other days it is the surfaces of things that trap him. Time curves and he reflects on this. Attracted to the possibilities of what lies beyond the straight white lines and arrows of his ordinary existence. A life on two planes seems possible, but proves fleeting, and the fear returns so that only movement and motion, only action and acts can transport his mind from the horrors that lie within and always travel with him. One day he finds himself walking the unmarked route beyond, aware of, yet not marking the signs and cautions, seeing for the first time a world of possibilities he stops to inhale a world of dawning colour and a world of vivid substance. This moment too will pass just as surely as it will always be. A moment of such extraordinary glory that it is already marked permanently in his memory as it begins to happen and he lives its import and splendour aware even as it unfolds. <laughs> 